Still rocking that pink hair, I see. Hey, Grandma. Oh, interesting. So I'm actually not sure if the game... I'm pretty sure the game is supposed to pop up this information, maybe, but uh, this is actually like one year after Madeline climbed Celeste Mountain. And also, uh, you might notice actually a little bit of a gimmick already with this level, and that's the fact that, that's weird, our dashes aren't resetting at all. And that's because, uh, yes, inside the core, your dashes can't reset. The only way to reset them is to leave the screen or to grab one of the uh, recovery gems right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I can already see that. Okay, so uh, this is where uh, most first players will be completely uh, bamboozled because there's this barrier right here that has these four heart symbols, and most players, when they get to this part, will think, okay, what the hell? What is it? Like. Because the crystal hearts are so well hidden, you probably won't even find any of them on your first playthrough. Maybe you'll find like the Mario block if you're if you know Mario Three. But besides that, yeah, it's uh, extremely difficult to uh, the the idea of getting to this place and not having a single or having four crystal hearts, let alone just like one crystal heart, let alone just four of them. Anyway, so this is the core, and uh, not only it does it have this uh, dash gimmick, like I said, but it also has uh, a fire gimmick, as you can see, because, you know, we're at the very core of the mountain. So uh, these blocks right here are probably one of my least favorite mechanics in the game. Um, it's not awful, but just the way these blocks work is extremely strange. It kind of feels like a mishmash of a bunch of the platforms that the game has made us, like, grab onto so far, but essentially you grab onto it and it will fling you in a very, very precise in what whatever direction you grab the block on. Uh, so using this in tandem with some uh, tricky lifts and some really cool fire acrobatics in the background, let's see if we can uh, make it further in the core. I can't believe I actually grabbed that. Okay, another pro tip, you can actually uh, get up there and you can actually make it to that uh, hidden passage. Uh, it's not a hidden passage, it's actually the way to go, but that is the infinitely harder way to actually access that area. Also, there's a strawberry right here. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if you saw, but this level actually has five strawberries in it, so... Oh, no, the game doesn't tell you how many strawberries until after you beat the level. Well, whatever. The game told you there were 175 uh, on the end screen. So yeah, there's five left in this level, and then we'll be done with strawberries. So let's actually see if we can find a way uh, to stop that uh, fire from rising, and then we can uh, make our way through that uh, barrier the one room back. Oh god. So yeah, when I say like the these blocks will like fling you, like they really, really fling you, so you gotta be very, very careful. There we go. Oh god. So yeah, like this is this is the problem with these blocks because like you as soon as you touch the block, the block has decided which way it's going to fling you the second you touch it. So you have to be very very committed when you land on that block cuz you don't have very much time to react at all. You can adjust it a little bit like as you get as you get flung, but if you're f flying like in a really heavy like horizontal direction you're kind of like at the mercy of wherever it, whatever it does shoot okay it has to be a way to do this there we go I actually landed up here sweet okay and now you see the true g <laughs> that shut me right up okay now you see the true gimmick of the mountain and that's the fact that 
This isn't just a fire level, it is also an ice level, so yeah, here, here we freaking go. So uh, there are uh, there are fire and ice barriers, and when one switch is active, you can't actually pass through it at all. So uh, it also affects all of the fire projectiles, obviously. So now, instead of being fireballs, these are now ice blocks that you can actually bounce off of. Which is usually very handy because these blocks, like, always are there. They never go away, which is uh, nice. Another gimmick about the ice is that these uh, shiny walls right here, you actually can't climb up at all. So, yeah, that's kind of a pain in the ass, but oh well. We will work around it. So, yeah, as you can see, now we have to go back through these rooms with the uh, blocks, uh, with the fireballs significantly slower and a lot more friendlier. However, if you touch the blocks uh, from below, you'll notice that they're actually spiky. That's because they will kill you. Also, the physics blocks that fling you will no longer do so. Instead, they will just simply... Um, they will simply uh, crumble as soon as you step on them um, after a short little bit. So just uh, make our way through here. There we go. Um... Call me crazy, but I think I actually missed an area back here. Okay, I think I may be actually going crazy because I'm pretty sure we, like, the way that I was thinking is actually just the way that we fell through, so I wouldn't actually worry about that. It is the last level, though, so it'd be preferable if I didn't miss any strawberries. Okay, what the hell? Uh, we actually... We can't use more than one dash. There we go. Sweet. That actually worked really well. I'm surprised. Okay, moving back to this room. As you can see, now that we've actually uh, frozen those, it's actually much more doable. But still, you, if you wanted to skip that entire section that we just did and just go straight to this section, you totally can with a well-timed dash uh, through the fireballs. Through the fire and the flames. But, uh, yeah, it's... You might want to go back just because so, you can get that strawberry if you uh, freeze that area. There we go. Shit. So yeah, have it, uh, being placed outside the summit, I'd actually say this level... It has more gimmicks than the summit does, but it, as far as difficulty, like I'd actually say it's not as brutally difficult as the summit. Uh, it kind of feels like more like a, a wind down level. Like, okay, here's there's one last little challenge for you before uh, before you hang up the game for good or move on to the uh, brutal post game. Shit. Well, speaking of brutal, I, I can't even get through this floor right now, so that does not bode well. There we go. Sweet. Okay, still haven't found that second strawberry, sadly. <laughs> There's still four more to go, man. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah. As you can see, uh, those bumper blocks... I don't know if I actually described it, but... Yeah, the bumper blocks, which we saw in uh, Reflection, are actually as well as being bumpers. They are fire blocks when the, uh, when the heat is on. So, uh, let's go up here. There we go. Okay, sweet. And bounce up. There we go. So yeah, those fire blocks are deadly to the touch, uh, fire bumpers, until we actually freeze them, so we can't actually do anything with them. As for this, yeah, this is where it gets uh, pretty tricky, because now the game's going to be cycling in and out of the uh, different blocks. Also, keep an eye out on that uh, pathway up there, because we're going to want to come back here, uh, so we can actually you know, get hidden goodies. Okay, this is where the core starts being very mean t to me, by the way. So, uh, again, bear with me. Oh, God. Okay, now we gotta make it back. Gotta make it back. There we go, sweet. Okay. We've earned this strawberry up here. Uh. Okay, so I can already tell that the gimmick of this is gonna be that we can't use our dash. Like, we need to be able to save our dash, I think. There we go. Okay, sweet. We actually managed to do that on our first try. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. I, I'd say the hitbox for actually hitting the, like, bouncing on those ice blocks is actually 
pretty forgiving, all things considered. What isn't forgiving is diving face first into a face full of lava. Which is not, not a good idea, no matter who you are. Oh, shit. See, like, it, it, it's pretty cool how many mechanics this level actually balances, because we've got the hot and cold, we also have the the dash that doesn't reset, um, and, like, you have to balance both of these with these ridiculous levels. And this is only the A-side version of the level, because, I mean, obviously there's going to be a B-side version of the core, so get, get hyped for that, I guess. Shit. There we go, sweet. Except we totally didn't do it because we actually need to go off that bumper to get that strawberry. Wow, okay, that's evil. There we go. <laughs> I just did it my first try, screw it. Okay, only two strawberries left. Okay, well, there's a secret up there. There we go, sweet. Um, okay, we can't get through there. And we can't get through there either. Oh my god, we actually... That's so dumb. We have to get to that room while it's on the fire side. Not the ice side. Because getting up there with the ice side was too easy. Holy shit, this is going to be hard. I remember this being unbelievable. Okay, let's... <sighs> let's do this. <laughs> Bumpers are my worst enemy. Oh my god, that was actually really close. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That wasn't even on the screen. Give me a break, game. That was so dumb. You know, while I'm dying to this section over and over again, one thing I actually wanted to point out that you've probably noticed by now, but one cool thing that this game does is that every time, uh, every time you actually die, the screen transitions to black, and, uh, depending on what level you're in, oh, so we actually did it, depending on what level you're in, this, the, uh, transition effect is actually different. So for this level, it's a heart, for the summit, it's like this, this spike that rises, like, it's different for every single level in the game, which is really... Just, again, just a cool little touch that, like, someone had to program, and it, like, it's it's not much, but, like, I don't know, it's just, it, it's cool. It's just cool. I love cool little stuff like that. Okay, so, rising lava section, because, of course, they wouldn't be able to resist the temptation. Um, hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're only missing one strawberry, so hopefully it, uh, rears its beautiful, beautiful, I don't <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> Shit. Okay, the music's getting pretty, pretty intense, too. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I keep forgetting that my dashes don't reset. That's so annoying. Like, man, you do not have a lot of room to work with right there. Shoot. Okay, I have an actually idea. There we go. You can skip a little bit of the level right there. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, well, and if you thought the lava was gonna stop as soon as we freeze it, you're dead wrong. And now, it, now it's just an ice bath of ice bath of death. So watch out for that too. Fuck. I love this like drum and, drum and bass going on right now. Oh my god, what am I doing? I keep forgetting the dashes re don't reset. Unless I touch that. Shit. Okay. Time for serious time. <laughs> he says as he wastes another dash. God damn it. I'm so impatient. Ah. There we go. Okay. Oh god. Oh. There we go. Uh, I really hope the strawberry wasn't in one of the. I panicked because I was like, "Oh no, is one of the strawberries right there?" But I, I'm not actually sure. Shit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say that there's actually not anything there, so I'm just gonna chance it. How the hell? Uh, up here, up here. Okay, this section actually isn't that bad. There we go. Oh my god, after that you have to make diving against the flow like that. There we go. There, okay, sweet. Oh, that's really dickish. I don't have any dashes left. I just wasted a dash, what am I doing? Okay, there we have one in our stock still. There we go. Fuck. Phew. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> okay, this is gonna suck. <gasps> there it is! I just need that strawberry! Okay, we can do this. Almost at it! Is that actually what you have to do? Jesus. Yes! There we go! Sweet! Okay, that's all 175 strawberries collected. Fantastic. Okay, that makes me feel really good that I didn't have to replay this level because this is brutal. Oh, God! No! Damn it. You thought it was over? We're just getting started. Okay, time for the final section of the core. You thought the lava rising on the top was bad? Or on the on the bottom was bad? What about both? Now it's rising from both the top and the bottom, and it's a balancing act of trying to uh, not let the lava kill you uh, in either direction. 
which I, I personally think is a fucking sick mechanic. It's really cool. It's also extremely difficult, as you can see. Oh, but over. There we go. Okay, whatever. We're scot-free as far as I'm concerned, because we don't have to worry about any more of those uh, nasty strawberries. We also have to worry about death. That kind of looks like bubbly soda, now that I think about it, more than uh, more than ice. There we go. <laughs> using using advanced dashing mechanics just to get a leg up. Oh my god. I'm surprised I actually lived through that. <laughs> oh my god, we did that first try? Are you kidding me? Okay, sure, I'll take it. Oh, this part is fucking cool. I forgot about this. Yes! <laughs> no! Oh god, my palms are sweaty. Mom spaghetti! There we go, sweet. <gasps> and what's waiting for at the, us at the end of this long journey? Another goddamn cassette tape, you cheeky bastards. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't think the switch reset that quickly. Oh my god, we are actually almost at the end. And again, I, I totally botched it right there because I forgot about our dashes not resetting. In fact, that might be the last dash that we even get. Well, it is, but it doesn't matter because we nailed it anyway. Sweet. B-side unlocked. <laughs> oh, thank you. I like how that one's mandatory. Like, you have to grab it. Oh god, we're so close. The core is so close. Oh no! Oh, don't worry, we're fine. <laughs> don't worry. Man, wouldn't that be a useful power-up somewhere in the game? Just make it V V V V V V. You can just flip gravity at any point. <gasps> the last crystal heart! 